What's going on everybody, Pat's Cosplay here. In today's video, I'm going to unbox this real life Spider-Man mechanical lenses. Now before we actually start this, I'm in the wrong attire. Let's do a little transformation. Ah, much better. All right, so for this actual box, it was really cool. It came in like a shield agent box. That's really cool. As you can see, it's from Cat Toys. I actually didn't order it from Cat Toys, so I was very surprised to see that brand on there. I ordered it from a site called Toys Wonderland. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. So I guess they use the same product for both of the sites. I mean, it makes sense to have multiple sites to bring in multiple traffic, but just know if you order from toyswonderland.com, you should be getting the Cat Toys official box. Really cool. On top of that, I actually also got the like head mannequin thing. It's not bad. It has a plastic bottom it has a place where you can actually attach it to a wig holder so you can still style wigs on it, which is very nice. And it also has like a fabric material. I'm not too sure about the fabric material. Maybe it'll help the wigs grip it better. This is to hold the Spider-Man face shell. So hopefully it grips it very well and I can display it for you guys. That would be freaking awesome. Ooh, like the box, so freaking cool. That's so cool. I love it. I love it already. I love how like simple this packaging is. It just goes straight into the face shell. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. It's just a box. I mean, there you have it right there. That looks so cool. This is the, uh, the controller you get with it. It takes a special battery. So if you have to replace the battery, it takes um, quite a specific battery to do it. I'll try to leave a link to one where you can get on Amazon if you can get it on Amazon, because I'm not sure. The controller is extremely big. Like, this is gonna look so cool with this. The color is slightly off from this suit, but it's not terrible. So there is a zipper on the mask as well here. So zipper all the way in. Oh, I can show you guys what the interior looks like. Very smooth, like this face shell is pretty dense. Wow, this, this face shell at, at its very like thickness, that's almost an inch. That's a heavy ass face shell. So there is a spot for a battery in here. Do I need to supply my own batteries? I think I do. It's the moment of truth. We'll do it on this camera because it's a lot closer. I'm gonna press A first. I'm pretty sure it's A. All right, I figured it out. There is a hidden switch inside the mask right here. It's really, really difficult to see. I looked this over several times, did not find it. But finally, after a couple of looking around, I uh, found it. From what I've seen from every review, A does nothing, B does nothing, C does nothing, D, however, closes them and opens them. That's pretty cool. Don't need all the three buttons, but let's see that again. That's so cool, I love that. Like, what you saying? So, as you can hear, there is a mechanical sound to it. So, both clicking the button and this thing is quite loud. When you're at a convention, however, you won't be able to hear it unless you're really close to them. So, it actually will be pretty good. The only issue is that this thing is really big. I would hide this in your hand, and every time you go to uh, do like a thing like that, you're able to press the button and close it and open it. That would be my suggestion. You could also kind of rig this up to put inside the bottom of the mask and open it with your uh, chin, just whenever you uh, talk, just. That's another option to do. It looks like it has a lot of extra fabric, so you wanna see how it fits. Just be like, what did you say? I'm watching you. Oh, there's nothing? No problem. What was that? This thing is pretty darn cool. There's a couple things that are bad about it. And let me just take this off and show you guys. That looks great because that kind of looks like uh, dark side. <laughs> Maybe you'll see on this one. There's literally just a pool of sweat right here, here, here. So there's a couple pros and a couple cons. Con number one, it's heavy. I don't want to wear this my entire day at a convention. Wearing this for more than half an hour would be a lot. So I would do this if you're gonna do birthday parties. With that being said, you are gonna wanna coat this in an anti-fog spray of some kind because that is con number two. 
putting this thing on, it was already fogged up and they couldn't see. So definitely tough to uh, see out of. Obviously when you um, press that close, it's going to be a little bit harder to see as well. That's normal, um, but it doesn't limit your vision that much. Mainly the fog limits it a lot. So con one, heavy. Con two, it's uh, not breathable, so you sweat a lot. Uh, con number three, I don't like how uh, the, the uh, stuff right here, you can see better here. I really don't like how they uh, sewed it. It just looks a little off. It's also, it doesn't seem that big, but because it is so thick, you actually have a lot of your head exposed at the side. Um, so it just looks a little bit off. Also having that line right there is a little bit annoying because obviously your head's going to be peeking out like so. So there is still a couple cons. Con number four, this is way too big, but if you can figure out how to make this smaller so it's just a button that you can leave on like here so that when you do your pose, you can actually do it or even just make it a finger button that would make it so much better. But the fact that this is so big and it only does one thing is really silly. It should really be open up both lenses, open up left eye, open up right eye, and then the, I don't even know what that one would do. Maybe that one glitches. That one just goes rapid. That would be what I would do with the actual controller. You can still do that. You can program that into it. I'm just not technically advanced enough to do that. The pros are that it does, it does open up really cool. The zipper's actually a good quality, I must say. Uh, for me, when I'm filming, I'm definitely going to hear that little sound, so I'll probably have to like lower the volume for that section every single time I do it. Another con I didn't like was that um, there's a lot of fabric on it. It's not bad overall, but like there's just a lot of fabric around the neck, so tucking it in is definitely the option to do. But for what I paid for it, which is a funny story, and I'll get into that in a second here, it's really not bad. So this thing costs about $160 Canadian. For your normal face shell, it's going to cost you about $120 with lenses. So the fact that you're only paying $40 more for lenses that move is good, but it's also heavier, so there is that trade-off there. You guys can kind of decide whether or not you just want the regular one or if you want this one. Now, with the funny story, this was actually lost in shipping. It was lost in shipping. I should not have gotten this product. I emailed the company. I was like, hey, I'm like my order hasn't been updated on the shop app. Why is that the case? And then they just responded to me saying that the package was lost in shipping. My thing didn't even update that the order was shipped. It just said order placed. And I was like, this thing has been like a month. What's going on? So they emailed me about a week ago saying, yeah, it was glitching right now. It did an actual Karen glitch. That's fantastic. It was not on purpose. Does it still work? Cool. Okay. It just decided to glitch on me mid speaking. It knew I was talking about its creator. That's why. But in all honesty, I emailed them. They got back to me very quickly saying that it was just lost in shipping and they refunded me the order of the entire thing. So I got back my 160 plus shipping, which was about $30, I believe. So I got back the $190. And then it showed up. Like literally five days afterwards, it showed up to my house. And then I was like, okay. Like, I guess it wasn't lost in shipping. They just lost the tracking number and it still got to me. So technically I got this for free, but for $190 with shipping, it's glitching again. So yeah, overall, I give this about a 6 out of 10. There are far too many cons for me to give this a 10 out of 10. <laughs> far too many. If it fixed its button size, this is even that big. This is like half a point. But if it fixed the weight of the face shell, the option to do multiple things where you can close one eye at a time, as well as made it fog free, I would actually give this thing a 10 out of 10. But because it doesn't have those things, a 6 out of 10 is the highest that I will give it. Like this will look fantastic in the background and I will also wear it for my skits. It's gonna be a nice addition to the channel to make better videos. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos all related to cosplay, especially Spider-Man. I will see you guys in the next video.